Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games. Now I'm going to be continuing my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. Now in the last one we did the Build Modifier, which allows us to build objects based on their vertices, and also the Decimate Modifier, which allows us to unsubdivide and retopologize. So, now we're going to be covering the Mirror Modifier. And I have to apologize first, because I meant for this tutorial to come out on Saturday. I'm actually re-recording this tutorial video. It was pre-recorded, but... I hit 900 subscribers at fr on Friday morning at 10 o'clock, and I couldn't go without um, telling you guys thanks, because that really means a lot to us that we got 900 subscribers, so I did not release the tutorial, and I wanted to thank you guys for subscribing, that really means a lot, and so that's why this tutorial is being moved off, was moved off till today. So now, let's cover the mirror modifier. Um, on the, the mirror modifier is pretty straightforward, and I'll try to explain it fairly quick, quickly, but also in depth. So, let's go to modifier, add modifier, mirror. Now, you'll notice that nothing really changes, and that's because you, it, it is um, based off the mesh's vertices. So, when we move one of these vertices, you will see. Now, that looks good, because this, is, this modifier is perfect for making symmetrical things, like... And pretty much everything in nature is symmetrical. You see this little flicker right here as I, move, as I rotate around? That means that there's a vertex issue. And if I hit Shift Z, because I don't have a light there, I can rotate around. And you see that? That means there's a vertex issue. Now, we can fix that, but there's an easier way to fix this. I'm going to delete the mirror modifier. I'm going to hit Command Z. And then we hit Shift Z to get back into here. Now the way to get around this is to simply add some more vertices. So to do that, we're going to hit Control R, and I'm going to hover over the middle of the curve. Oh, sorry. Whoops, hit the wrong key. So if I hit Control R, Control R. Sometimes it works. Yeah, it works weird with angles. So just be aware of that. And then I just click. Now you can see that we have another vertice. So if we were to hit 7, which I am in, and then 5 so that we can see all the vertices, and then Z so that we can select all these vertices, and we hit B and select all those, then delete these by hitting X and then delete vertices. Now if we add the mirror modifier, it fixes itself. And if I hit Shift Z, there are no vertex issues. So yeah, now, there is, sorry, I'm going to hit Shift-Z and then back into here. So, you'll see that now if I move this, we don't have any vertex issues. But there, if I hit Shift-Z again, with some models, it will put a crease right there. And the way to get around that is to do point, I usually do point one, and that will merge the two objects together. You don't want to do all the way and you don't want to do two less, so I usually do that. And yeah, that's how you can manipulate it. That's the merge variable. So we have a few other variables. We have the axes, which can be X, Y, or Z. And if you see the Y mirrors it along the Y axis, and the Z mirrors it up and down. So you can get something cool, but the problem is you have all these vertex errors, and you really don't want that. I mean, there's not much you can do when you have that. So I'm going to leave it on X, just to, for demonstration purposes. Okay, then we have these other options like Merge. Merge, mer um, well, it does what it says. It merges the next face to the original face. Sometimes you won't want this, but most of the time you will, because it allows you to come to complete the vertices together and not have any doubles, because doubles are very annoying. So that's that. Clipping, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I don't know exactly what that is. If there's somebody in the comments that can explain clipping and vertex groups effectively, um, thank you so much. Um, textures, um, that's if you've already unwrapped your model. So let's say that you had already like textured your model like this, but then you thought, you know what, let's add it on the other side. And then you hit X, all your textures, will, all your UV maps will stay on this side, unless you use these, and you have to, U is like the X axis of textures, and V is like the Y axis. So yeah, 
Then you have the merge limit, which we covered. And then we have this, the mer mirror object. And that's actually a pretty cool thing. So you see we have this. We have this lamp. Let's say we want it to fade. And we're, I'm going to move this lamp, actually. So let's say it can be with any object. But let's say we wanted to make an arrow close, like pointing at something. And we wanted it to be symmetrical and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what you'd use it for exactly, but you get the idea. If I select the lamp, it automatically rotates the object and points it, points the centerpiece closest to this. That's a cool little thing. You can also do this with the camera. And as you can see, one of them stays put while the other one makes an angle. So this is really useful for making like arrows and stuff and a quick way to make something really cool. Now you'll also see if I rotate the camera, so does this. So it's essentially parenting it. But you can get some pretty cool effects. Like if you did this, and then you can just move it down. And now you have something that looks pretty cool, like a spike or a logo for DeVry University. So that's the mirror object. And that essentially is the mirror modifier. That's all you need to know. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, and follow us on Twitter, and also please check out our website. We spent a lot of time making that, and we'd really like for you guys to see it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.